There are a few that will argue the precision and the accuracy of a good 223 or 556. You know, it definitely though has its limitations. The distance is due to the, you know the bullet weight and the ballistic coefficient. You know, up there 500 yards. You know, for most people, uh, that's really kind of pushing its limits. Now, Springfield is also known for making highly accurate ARs, as I discovered with their same Edge. Now, not long ago, they came out with the Edge ATC or Accurized Tactical Chassis, uh, which was designed to deliver maximum precision in an AR platform and also potentially maximum distance. Now, they even go one step further and they have the ATC Elite model, which is this, which has a sub MOA guarantee. Um, that sounds like a challenge. Let's put that to the test. Five shots, guys. Five shots in one hole. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So what is the Saint ATC Elite? How is it different from other ARs? Let's check out the specs and tech and do an up close and show you what is the same and what is different. Hey, just real quick here, I want to show you up close and run through some of the features, many features that we have on this here. We have the, the B5 stock. Um, we have the adjustable here. On the opposite side, we have quick detach here. We have quick detach here and then another one on the other side. Um, then this is for the cheek rest. We can adjust that. One thing that actually I don't like about this stock and I do love this stock is we have to pull down Okay, and it, it's a bit tight to get it to adjust. Typically, everything that we're used to is pushing in, and I will say I much prefer that. Um, it, it's natural to just be able to squeeze and adjust. I have found it, especially in the field, it's much more difficult to pull this down and adjust. But, um, you know, that's not a Springfield thing, that's a B5 thing. And then we've got this little thing here, the latch, and we can push that forward and then this comes all the way down and we can remove the stock. Okay, it comes with the B5 Systems pistol grip. I absolutely love this pistol grip. Love it. One of my favorites. Um, it's, it's a smaller angle and incredibly comfortable, ergonomic. Love it. The trigger in this is sweet. Let's just double check here. Okay, we're Show empty. The trigger here real quick. Love the trigger. Slight take up, hits the wall. Oh, crisp, clean glass light, glass light break. Audible, palpable, nice reset, short travel. Yeah. Got a little zing to it on the reset and I do like that. Okay, I have had triggers that, you know, they're really mushy on the reset. Nice. Okay, let's just check the pounds here on the trigger pull. Just a little over three. Okay, about three and a half. Three and a half. 
Okay, so this is going to be really different than ARs we're used to. We can't just pop the pins and open up the receiver and pull our BCG out and the charging handle and access it. We have a series of screws that are essentially tightening all this down and holding it so there is no play whatsoever okay, that we're used to. We start with our first screw, which is in here, okay? And we're gonna loosen that. It comes with this, and then that's gonna loosen up our ability and our play up here so that we can pop this pin out. Okay, so now that we loosen that up, this just pops out like always, and we'll be able to pull that out, except it's still not gonna pop open. We have to do some more things. Okay, so then we have one right here, same thing. We're gonna loosen that up. That's gonna give a little bit of play and then we can pop this pin. Okay, and we have one more up here that we're gonna loosen up. Okay, so we have this little knob down here. We're gonna pull that out, okay? When we pull this out, it allows this to slide off. We're gonna take this off. So this comes off as one piece. Now, the upper and the barrel all comes out and apart. And now we get access and we can take the BCG out. And this is what you're gonna have to do to clean. Okay, we've got quick detach here, we've got quick detach here, we got another quick detach here. This one, okay, that is going to push that up onto the gas block and essentially creating one unit and there's no movement of that gas block. This one here, that's pushing up on the back of the barrel here, the barrel nut. We have the one in the grip that's gonna push that up and push on the back of the receiver, combine all of these together, and you have a barrel receiver and stock essentially that is all one unit, no movement. Yeah, so the short and the sweet is the ATC monolithic lower designed to remove any contact with the barrel, barrel nut, and gas system. Now, this completely free floats the system, providing unparalleled accuracy, or so the sub MOA guarantee guarantees that. Now, you combine that with the AccuTite Plus tension system to eliminate any play between the upper and the lower, and we should have absolutely no issue getting that sub MOA guarantee. So for this particular build in this shoot and review, I have an Athlon Ares ETR. It's the four and a half to 30 by 56 with the FFP IRML reticle um, as my primary optic. And then I've got a Hollow Sun HS407C as the backup. Okay, and that's mounted on a Strike Industries ambush. Now that's a modular 45 degree optic mount. Um, I like it. it, it really has got a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna do a separate review on that. Now let's just see how they all perform together. We've created sort of a symphony here. Um, let's start getting it zeroed at 100 yards, trying a variety of ammo. Purpose being, we want to find out what she likes best and go from there. One thing before I forget, I would highly recommend to Springfield is to do ambidextrous fire select. You know, with something like this, um, I really like, especially, you know, a larger gun. I like having it on the other side when I'm like just completely bedded down in the bag. Sometimes 
I want to just flick it right here. Okay, so doing the initial sight in on the ATC, this was my first shot at 50 yards. I'm doing the seasoning, the barrel. Guys, this is what I do with everything. So you do one shot, and this is after consulting with the top barrel manufacturers in the world. She and Bart line, uh, one shot, clean, scrub, polish, three shots, clean, scrub, polish, five shots, and so on. Anyway, so this first shot was at 50 yards. Okay, then I went and cleaned the barrel. And this is what I'm using to break in the barrel. Military surplus green tip. Yeah, because I'm just looking at breaking in the barrel. And then I moved this to 100 yards. And <laughs> that's what I got, okay, at 100 yards. And we're just getting started. I could not be happier. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to run through all these different loads, different companies, different weights, different powder, everything. See which we get the best group with. Okay, so got done here shooting. Um, I'll be honest, I can't remember what was what. So I'm just going to point to the groups and I'll, I'll flash up here. Yep, so you can see that uh, with a different ammo. Um, yeah, you know, this is okay. Had had a couple flyers, you know, got a nice group there. Fairly consistent. Remember, that is five shots. So there's, a, I do remember shooting this. I don't remember which load it was. That's two shots in that hole. That's a pretty decent group uh you know a little stringy there outside of the flyer you know we're not going super awesome there that's nice we got almost four touching um pretty happy with that again here's five shots there's two shots in that one hole there happy from all of them that I'm looking at, this is probably the best. You know, there's three shots right there, and then the two, and then last over here. Again, you know, fairly consistent. Um, that's 10 minutes between each round of five, setting inside over the vent with the fan, cooling it off so that it would be the same on all of them. Special thanks to Hornady. I've got some super performance match. The 556 five, NATO, the 75 grain hollow point boat tail match. This is some good stuff. Um, really curious and anxious to see what kind of groups we get with this. Let's just see what we can do here at 100 yards. Okay, so the super performance. You know, they're not they're not bad groups. Um, they're not sub MOA. Um, you know, that's probably our best group there. Started here, and then I just moved up, and I really didn't allow, I didn't take any time and allow the barrel to cool. Um, they do seem to be tightening. You know, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to to just go through several boxes and bang on some steel at some distance i have encountered you know sometimes firearms that you know they just got a really slow break-in process and maybe this is one of them that just you know wants to get fired a bunch before those groups tighten up and then i switched over to the hornady which I had tried before, but hadn't quite seasoned the barrel. Was real happy with that and thought, you know, let's uh, let's load up some more. So I loaded up six, okay? That's six shots. I'm gonna count that as a flyer, okay? Is a flinch because there's five shots, guys. Five shots in one hole. I'm gonna count that as meeting Springfield's guarantee of sub MOA because it doesn't get any better than that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe just a couple clicks here, maybe one up, maybe one to the right. Check that out. And then we're going to start going out and seeing how far we can go. What can we do at 500? 
Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, so we want to see what kind of groups we can get up there at 500. So I've got my SIG Kilo and I've got the Hornady here plugged in to the BC calculator and it gave us 3.28. So I dialed it up to 3.28 and that should put us right in the crosshairs. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so 500 yards, you know, guys, that's a pretty solid. Okay, so I did one click up and I did two clicks to the left based off of what we just saw. Let's, uh, let's see what this does. Okay, so we did the one click up and the two to the left. Uh, we had one flyer there. That could have been the cold bore. I did have six shots in this group and then one, two, three, four, five, and then, then six. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Um, you know, with a five, five, six, I, I don't know how much better it's going to get at 500 yards. Um, I may put in another five rounds just to see what we can do. Okay, so we added five more to the group. You know, again, awesome, awesome group. Uh, I'm more than happy with that at 500 yards with the 5.56. Five, I don't think, at least not in my experience, that it can get a whole lot better. Outstanding. Okay, that is not bad for a 5.56 five, at 500 yards. You decide what you think. This gun is anything but ideal for close range, especially with this optic. So what I wanna do is let's go back to the CQB range and see what we can do with the hollow sun and the ambush in a pinch at close distance. Okay, real quick here. Zeroing my hollow sun, an offset sight. If you have an optic on and you're doing the 45 degree is a secondary, it's super easy, okay? Don't make it any more difficult than it needs to be. Get your optic, your primary, zeroed, and then just get the gun saddled in here really solid. You look down your scope, you get your crosshairs on the target, and then you just adjust this and dial it right up to be equivalent. So that's what I did. Let's see, uh, let's see how well that worked.
Okay, real quick, I just want to try 200 yards with the offset secondary. You know, you never know. Maybe something goes wrong with the primary. Um, we've got it zeroed, and we're shooting out there with the super match. So that's the ammo that I want to use here just to make sure that we're, we're staying consistent with the zero. You can see I'm, I'm not anywhere near using the optic. Let's try that at three. I mean, secondary heck, you never know. Here we go up here at three. Got a little bit of crosswind. Nah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, there goes my box. Okay, well, that was the Hornady. Um, I want to try... I want to try these little little spinner targets down here at a hundred nice nice I nicked it. I nicked it. It was it was moving. Anyway, um, that's a pretty decent setup for a secondary. Uh, let's run this back in the CQB range and and just see what we can do standing and sort of you know uh, emergency unprepared scopes out or it's dialed up and we got to go really co close quarters and transition rapidly. Okay, guys, so we're back here at the CQB range. I want to see what we can do, you know, with an offset with this hollow sun um, and the, the ambush from Strike Industries. You know, this is this is a tactical platform. Obviously, this is meant for precision, um, long distance, okay? But, you know, in a tactical situation and I'm going long distance, you know, the opportunity, unfortunately, could pop up where I've got close quarters. So... Let's just see, you know, what are our options and what can we do for close quarters. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad um, considering she's heavy. Man, she is a beast. Um, but that would definitely work. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. I had a blast doing it. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, we, you, are ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.